Hi everybody, my name is Bill Black. I'm from Spirit River. What I'd like to tie for you today is a stone fly and we utilize the new bug parts that we sell. Actually, I've raided this bag, but <clears throat> our bug parts, um, you can use those to create uh, some incredibly realistic flies. And uh, what I'd like to do is uh, start with some biots sticking out the front, move down, biots coming out the back, uh, this one's got this uh, mohair yarn. It's pretty easy to work with, or you can use a dubbing, or the reason I was holding that, I just got done playing with it. You can also use our new nymph skin. And so let me show you how to tie this fly. It's not too difficult. It's actually kind of fun. <clears throat> I'll use clear monofilament thread. Well, actually, here I am getting ahead of myself. I'm going to put a little bit of lead on this because you want this puppy to sink. Stone flies are usually on the bottom. Okay, I'm going to take um, two goose biots, match them back to back. I measure them. And tie them in right there at the head. You don't even need to take time to cut them off. You can just wrap right back over them. Okay, I'm going to go towards the back here. I'm going to use some Rust Brown Spirit River Squirrel Blend. And what I'm going to do here is just put a little bit, I'm just going to kind of create a little round ball here. And there again, that's what my um, my tail biots are going to be sitting over. I grab two more biots and I match them so that they curve outward, as you can see. And I lay those over that ball. That looks about right. <clears throat> Next, I'll take a little bit of gold wire. This is going to be... Actually, you know, sometimes you don't... The way I'm going to do this body this time, you may not really even need that. But. So I've cut a strip of our nymph body. I'm going to tie that in. And I'm going to wrap that around. And it's going to go halfway over itself at each wrap. Really creates a really lifelike body. And as you can see, it's very fast and easy to do. Cut that off. Just take this wire just to emphasize that a little bit. Nice. Okay, now I need to think about this a little bit. I think I need to put on a... Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to take our little wing bud. And I need to... Right here at the front... Tie that in. That's going to be folded back over. You want that wing bud to come to about half the body, or half the shank, I mean. It'll go down here right where the body's at. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to do a little base of dubbing. This one I'm going to use to attach the legs. Here's the legs, and what I do on these legs is, I'll go in and clip. Now these legs are cupped, or I mean this main stem is cupped. And with that, I'm going to go in and, 
and fill that with super glue. I'm going to go back and take a little bit of my dubbing and this is kind of the tough part the part I like the least I should say it's not all that tough but so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start going through these legs figure eight them. My cameraman's phone went off and mine's probably going to in any minute. No doubt my daughter's going to call one money. Okay. So there you go. I'm going to go ahead and flip this back. Get ready to fold that over. Before I do, again, I take a little bit of super glue, put it over that wing back. You don't want to mix your buyout antenna up in that. Have those go over the back and then I'll go around here. Once or twice. Pull those back. And then of course I put a little drop of glue right where that thread's at so it won't come undone. Separate my antenna a little bit, brush it out if you'd like, and there you have a marvelous little stonefly. Again, my name is Bill Black from Spirit River. Thanks for supporting uh, our small family-owned company. You can find our products at dealers nationwide. Thank you very much.